Welcome to Big Marv's World. People used to connect using the World Wide Web. They call the internet. With different types of social media. Store the information sort of like encyclopedia. Hey, what is good, guys? Good morning. I think it's, it's Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Whatever. Um, Y'all know I work late as fuck, hence Marv at night. Um, I just wanted to tune in because I just finished up this... Um, massive build so i wanted to show it off to you guys let you take a behind the scenes look at um this new funnel strategy that i'm getting ready to implement and you know share out there so it is uh it's going good so far tonight um it's just a massive like it's five or six funnels tied together um with Full automation strategies, email follow-up, everything. Um, so, enjoy, motherfuckers. Just give me a minute here. I'm going to be um, sharing this out to a couple places. So, just give me a second to do that. And then we will go live. How's everybody doing tonight? No, nobody's actually on watching right now, but I'm trying to keep the conversation flowing, trying to keep it going, trying to make it entertaining so yeah, at least you you uh, stay tuned in until we get to the juicy stuff, right? <laughs> um, cool, so that's shared. Um, now, actually, I'm going to share it into one more, one more spot. Give me a second. One more spot. Hope everybody's day has been good. Cancel. Alright, cool. Got it. Alright, cool. Let's jump into this motherfucker. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so check it out. We got several funnels here. Now let me show you guys what the stack is. So we have a few different lead magnets that we're testing. One lead magnet is he shot... Uh, so first of all, let me give you some background on Jim. Jim runs Cairo Hustle, and he has this full course called New Patients in a Box, which helps chiropractors... Um, you know book new patients using his system like it's a proven system he's booked thousands and thousands of patients he has um you know i think 50 or 60 people that have used new patients in a box so far they're all loving it so now we're at that point where we're building an automated strategy to turn this into an evergreen funnel so he can continue to make sales and focus on the next thing for his business so when he came to me all he had was his high ticket item and he didn't really have you know a value stack but he's positioning himself as the go-to marketing guide guy for fellow chiropractors right well not I shouldn't say fellow chiropractors because he's not a chiropractor he's a marketer for chiropractors but you guys get what I mean um, anyway so what we did was we split test a few different lead magnets one lead magnet was his marketing cheat sheet this is a cheat sheet that he put together which shows you everything that you can do to go kill it at an event right and book new patients then his next um, lead magnet is called project patient the movie which is a documentary that he shot just educating the world on chiropractic care and then the third lead magnet is an actual new patient in a box challenge which is a seven day challenge of them actually taking his marketing cheat sheet and putting it into practice over the course of seven days so they can start getting new patients now split testing these three we found that the marketing cheat sheet performed the best so now what we're doing is we're adding an automated webinar right because right now um, he's closing all of his high ticket personally so we're going to be doing an automated webinar to close those high ticket sales on autopilot all right with um, using the marketing cheat sheet since I was our best performing lead magnet as the bonus that he's getting so we have lead magnets uh, 
right? And then that we have our automated webinar training. We have a social media ad storm, which is his low ticket product. And then we have his full course, which is new patients in a box. All right. So let's take a look at the core funnel first, the new patients in a box. All right, so here's th the seven day challenge lead magnet, right? So once they opt in, now they're going to be redirected to the webinar, but initially they were directed to a standalone checkout specifically for the seven day challenge, right? So let me show you guys the opt in and then the old post opt in page. All right, so here's the old opt in, you know, join. Well, I mean, it shouldn't say old because we're still using this. Um, so here's what they get from the seven day challenge. Here's the opt in for it. And then here is their, the one page checkout. One page checkout um, has always converted the best for me, which is why I use one page checkout with every funnel. Um, so it's just a short header. Thanks for joining the seven day challenge. I'll arrive in your inbox shortly while you wait. I have an incredible offer just for you. And it's pitching them directly to new patients on the box. Um, we were getting opt-ins, but we weren't converting, right? And which is pretty typical. If you take cold traffic to an opt-in, you can't, you typically won't make sales directly to a 997 offer without putting more value up front, which is why we have this follow-up sequence, right? So we have our seven day challenge delivery set up here in active campaign where we are sending them emails and pitching them on the different products and services. Uh, I'm going to change this Wait for a specific period of time and say four hours. That was left over from the initial promo. But yeah, so we have a full, and that's why I, you guys, when I say make a lead magnet, I always say use a number like seven day challenge, 30 day challenge, 90 day challenge, 75 day challenge, whatever the fuck it is, as long as there's a number. Right, because you just set yourself up to email them for seven days and they're going to expect the emails because they opted into a seven day challenge, right? So it pretty much just gave us room to email them for seven days and try to get them back into the funnel, back into the value ladder. Right, so now let's take a look at the webinar. See, so I just. I just updated the headline here. Now it just says your download will be delivered shortly. Watch the free training below to learn how you can schedule new patients on autopilot, right? And we have a timer, which is as the video is going to play. Once the timer goes off, there will be a button that directs them to the order form. All right, and then we have our membership access and our membership area. Obviously, these are built inside click funnels these are all the different modules that you get from his course it's like it's a pretty in-depth course um it just teaches you how to get new patients in a box and then these affiliate signups and affiliate areas that's so you can so you can actually allow his members to earn a commission if they get other people to join the program and you utilize backpack built into click funnels um, to run affiliate programs and then these extra steps are just terms and conditions and privacy policy because you want those on all of your pages. You just want to create a footer down here. All right, so we have terms and conditions and privacy policy on every page. And it's built right here in ClickFunnels. It's pretty easy to do, um, especially if you don't have a dedicated WordPress site or a blog or some other kind of website where you have terms and conditions posted. Just create a section in ClickFunnels to host your terms and conditions. And then I'll show you guys the other funnels are like here's the marketing cheat sheet for example right it's just a one page 
opt-in and then on submit it's going to go to that that webinar training that i just showed you guys where it's, your download will show up shortly you know watch watch it while you wait and then we have project patient the movie same same thing we just have a one page opt-in um on submit it will be they will be directed to that webinar training page that says your download will arrive shortly watch the free training to get it all right now here is a low ticket item which we're just going to be using as a call to action it's not actually built into the core funnel but it is a lower ticket item um, so we will be using it as a call to action in some of the follow-up emails and I mean that is a, it's a very simple funnel as well it is so you opt in right because you're opting in for a free training so it's very similar to an automated webinar you're opting in for except you're just opting in for a free training. and then once you opt in for the free training then you're redirected to this video training right so like I said it's just like an automated webinar um, except I'm literally just hosted get ready to be seen everywhere it's a video we got a timer and it's gonna show it's gonna show them and then they'll be taken to a sales page to actually complete the purchase and then the thank you page which gives them you know their membership access etc etc um, now let's dive into the core webinar funnel so I can show you guys how that actually works so if you have click funnels they have a built-in automated webinar funnel template that you can use directly from the cookbook you don't need any third-party softwares like webinar jam or zoom or any of that shit this works directly inside click funnels and it's just using timers to utilize you know like um, the look of a webinar right so here's your standard webinar registration page Right, we're telling about the new new free training. Like, you know, you want to hit some secrets. I think I'm going to change this button from red to green because red buttons don't convert very well. And I actually tested that on a checkout form once. I had red buttons, red and black buttons, and it wasn't converting. I changed it to a uh, a green button, and it started converting like 20 or 30 percent more just from changing the button color like we didn't make any other changes let me make sure it's not red on the mobile okay so I updated the mobile one didn't update the desktop one all right cool so that's updated now so now let's take a look at the webinar confirmation page all right so once they register then they're just gonna be taken here like I said it's just a timer that simulates a live training is going to be started after this timer runs out it's going to redirect them but we're giving them a second step that should only take five minutes right so you take the survey this is the new patients in a box survey step that you see right here right and it, so that gives them they fill out this survey once they fill out this survey and submit it and by the way guys this is a custom form built in actionetics that I embedded with HTML um, so if you're curious how I made this form work with all these custom questions and how I automated it that's how I did it once um, once the form is submitted uh, they will be driven so let me show you guys the webinar automation and active campaign so basically once they register for a webinar, I'm going to notify Jim, let them know, hey, somebody registered for the webinar. We're going to send them an email confirmation with the replay and things like that. Then we're going to check them, right? Wait for 30 minutes because I have this. Where is that? I have this form. Once they submit it, it's adding a tag on the back end. So it's adding this tag, new patients in a box webinar survey. So once they fill out that survey, they're going to get this tag added. Once the tag is added, then it will notify Jim, hey, somebody filled out the survey. It will send him the survey answers, right? And then it's going to send them an email with a thank you from the survey and inviting them to go back, right? And then we're going to take them over here. Where we're going to wait four hours, and we're going to send a replay to them. And then we're waiting for 365 because I haven't fully built out the full 
email sequence yet. This is all you need to actually launch, right? You get your first email and then you get your four hour later email. That's all you really need to launch. You can come back in here and send them more emails later. I personally recommend four emails for, for when you're starting a webinar. You get your first email, which is the delivery saying thank you for registering. And you get the second one saying here's a replay in case you missed it. And then you send a third email um, saying, so it's thanks for registering. Here it is. The second one is here's a replay. The third one is how did you like the training? And the fourth one is you watched the training, but you didn't buy. And then we're going to set up clauses just like this where it doesn't have the, the tag, right? And we're going to be checking to see if they purchase. That way, if they did purchase, they're not going to get that email saying, hey, you watched the training, but you didn't buy. What the fuck? Right? So that's why it's so important to tag them so you're sending the right message to the right person at the right time. So that's the strategy there. And then so if they take the survey, then they're brought to this survey thank you page. Which is just thanking them for taking the survey. We got a sizzle reel showing some testimonials. And then get access now is going to take them directly to this checkout page. So I don't know if I showed you guys the webinar yet. Oh yeah, here's the webinar. Oh, well that's the the download. Here's the one without the download, All right? This one just says, watch the free training below to learn how you can schedule new pages on autopilot. All right, so whatever your header or your headline is, you just wanna make sure it aligns with whatever step because the idea of a funnel is you're creating a digital clone of yourself and you're actually walking these end users or these clients through every step of your sales process. So you want to talk to them as if you were standing right here talking to them, having a conversation with them. So that's when, when you're writing copy, just interact with them when you're shooting videos, interact with them as if they're standing right there across from you. All right, and then again, it's just a one page checkout, um, a clone from the other one. And then the confirmation, this is what the confirmation page looks like. Um, we just aligned it with steps. Actually make them take action, right? People, they just function better when you give them easy steps like this. Or step one, step two, step three, step four. And then bonus, this is how we're going to get them into the affiliate program. All right? So, I mean, you could easily just send them an email. You could easily just make this a thank you. But on your thank you page, like that, that's an opportunity to have a call to action. So you want to make sure you always have some kind of call to action. Some kind of call to action on your thank you page. It doesn't really matter what that call to action is. As long as you have some kind of call to action on there. It could be join your Facebook group. It could be following you on social media. It could be buy my other shit. It could be join my list over here. It could be buy this other product that aligns with this product. Like there's so many different things you can do and it doesn't really matter just as long as you have some sort of call to action you know share with your friends like there's the built-in social share with click funnels right and then all of every single one of these funnels that you see here underneath big marv right they're all tied into active campaign where they've been tagged right so like here's the cheat sheet where we're sending them the sheet sheet if the tag cheat sheet download is added we're going to be sending them the these emails and then we got social media ad storm which is the same i'm sending them a video right saying watch the free training we're going to wait an hour. That's long enough to watch the training. Do, do they match this? Do they have the tag that they purchased it? If they did, I'm going to send them login details. If they didn't match the tag, I'm going to wait two days and send them a follow-up email. And then I'm going to say, do they have the tag now? Yes. Well, then let's go ahead and send them these credentials. No? Well, let's go ahead and wait three days and send them another follow-up email. Do they have the tag now? Yes. Let's go ahead and send them the credentials. No, let's go ahead and add them to a wait queue so I can message them later with some more follow-up emails 
checking for this tag so I could continue them on that customer journey. Remember, we're just launching this, right, guys? So you don't have to write all 14 fucking emails in your sequence to launch. You don't have to write all seven emails in your sequence to launch. All you have to do is write these beginning ones so you can actually launch it so they can get something when they opt in. Right, and then put a bucket down here. Wait for 365. You miss a day, oh fucking well. Just log back in, check it, and just keep that bucket. Keep refreshing the bucket as as you write more emails, as you build up your sequence. Guys, whenever I did my 100 day blueprint, you think I wrote all 100 emails and had those ready to go when we launched the funnel? Fuck no. It took us like two months to get the rest of the emails written. We launched the funnel with like 20 emails. Right, and then we just stayed ahead of the audience. That's that's the key is staying ahead of the audience, because um, Active Campaign lets you know when people are waiting in the queue. They let you know like, hey, these motherfuckers are sitting here waiting to get the message, right? So if they've gone through it, right, they're just waiting in the queue. Q8. That means these eight motherfuckers are gonna sit here until I change this queue, right? So you just add an email, change this to wait one day. And then add another wait queue. I mean, it's that simple in Active Campaign. And the reason I do that is because once they leave an automation in Active Campaign, to get them back through, you have to start the whole fucking automation over. You can't dial them right, you can't plug them right into a specific message of an automation. So that's why I always use the wait buckets, is what I like to call them, because it's people literally waiting in buckets for you to send them their next thing. Right? So we have. Our new patients in the box, cheat sheet automation, seven day challenge automation, project patient, which is the documentary, social media ad swarm, which is its low ticket, and then finally the webinar automation. So these are the all the different automations that are tying these different funnels together. All of them have different call to actions to make them go to one of these depending on the message of the email and the tag that's applied to the user. And now um now when we're running paid advertising, I have custom conversions set up every single step of the funnel, right? So I'm going to do another video specifically on Facebook Pixel and custom conversions, but let me just give you guys um, a little bit here. So if you see FBQ, try, everybody knows what this looks like, right? This is what triggers whatever event is going to populate inside Facebook when they land on your page. This works on page load, right? So I just have new patients in a box webinar viewer that tells me that they viewed the webinar registration page I guess you can interpret that as somebody watching it, but that custom conversion is set to webinar replay So whenever you go into Facebook, right? Uh, let me see if I can find Alright, so now when you go into Facebook and you're looking you're you're looking at your ads I don't think this one has any live ads but it should have custom columns at least oh, this one doesn't uh, give me a second let me find one that has uh, some custom columns so you guys can see the adventure that clients are going through. <coughs> All right, check it out. So this is why I do custom conversions. Because if I'm looking at this campaign right here, and I want to see how well it's performing, I've set up my custom columns here, all right, and it, this is still learning, like I just turned this ad on, all right, so I can see my CTR is 12%, I can see the total click through is 9%, I can see my reach, impressions, right, and I'm also seeing how much each one of these things cost me, so I reached 135 to, to reach a thousand people, that's how much it costs. I made 135 impressions. To reach a thousand, that's how much it costs. Alpha view, that's somebody that's just viewing the page. This cost me eight cents, so that's technically eight cents per them viewing my funnel, right? And then download. Look, we had a hundred percent opt-in rate here, 
right? So that's why it's so important to dial in that audience first because now I can see that they downloaded, but they didn't add to cart and they didn't purchase. But that's cool because that means all, all I did was I spent eight cents for that lead. You're not going to beat an eight cents lead. And because this funnel has that full automated email sequence that's going to follow up with them based on their tags and their engagement with you, it's going to take them back through the funnel. So the real key is getting those motherfuckers on the list because once they're an active campaign, dude, game over, right? So that's why it's so important, it's so, so, so important to dial in your funnel strategy and your email strategy before you build the funnel it is way more important than the funnel itself you can have a beautiful motherfucking funnel and the shit's not going to convert if you don't have the back-end automation and strategy set in properly ugly funnels convert i've had ugly funnels convert like crazy just because the message was right the offer was right and it was sent to the right person at the right time that's all it takes, guys. So I hope this was beneficial to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of the back back end look behind this massive campaign. Um, I'm gonna do another video when I actually start running ads for this. I just need Jim to take a, a final look at it, review the funnel, give me the green light to go, and then I'm going to be doing the actual retargeting Facebook campaigns to drive traffic to this new webinar funnel. And you guys will be able to see how to set that up and, you know, how you would manage a big-ass campaign like this if you were doing it on your own and couldn't hire your boy to do it for you. This is Big Marv. Thank you guys for tuning in. One love, baby. Have a good one.